Welcome back to our daily devotion inside, my brothers and sisters. Today, I want to share a devotion entitled, Be on God. Be on God. Ephesians 4 verse 3 says, Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Make every effort to keep the unity of Spirit in the bond of peace. You know, everyone guards what is valuable. We guard our time, our money, our health, our relationships. The more valuable something is, the greater the effort we exert to preserve it. Isn't that true? Another insight. We can't keep or, pre or preserve something we don't already possess. One more time. We can't keep or preserve something that we don't already possess. Paul exhorted the Ephesians church to keep the word means to keep, preserve, and guard. He said to keep the unity of the church or the unity of the spirit. Means the word keep means to keep, to preserve, or to guard. What is that? The unity of their life in Christ. If they are not united with Christ, they are not walking with Christ, it will cause us to get distracted. And uh, he doesn't tell, tell them to create unity. There's something God has already done in Ephesians 12, verses 30 to 18. Let's read. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away from being brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made two groups one, and has destroyed the, the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. By setting aside in his flesh the law with his commands and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. God brought together Jews and Gentiles in the New Testament, all people, Jews and Gentiles in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 8, into one spiritual body, through the cross of Christ. And God has given us spiritual unity as a gift. And it's up to us to manifest the gift. And it's that easy? No. The, word, the words for making every effort in Ephesians 4 verse 3 means to hurry, to be diligent, and to endeavoring. When when cracks or splits appeared in the unity of the church, it's because someone didn't make every effort to guard and preserve it. One more time. When cracks or splits appear in the unity of the church, it's because someone didn't make every effort to guard and preserve it. Someone decided to say, I'm hurt, I'm upset, I'm not happy, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to join arms with the enemy. Are you making every effort to keep the unity in your home, your friendships, your workplace, your church, your schools, your business, or your partnership? The unity of our life in Christ is too precious not to guard. You and I must guard the unity of our walk and our life with Jesus Christ. Do not allow anything to distract you and I from turning away from Jesus. And when that happens, you realize everywhere we go and the life that we live will always spew distraction, will always spew disunity, will always spew poison and anger and cause us to fight. A.W. Tozer says, Unity in Christ is not something to be achieved. It is something to be recognized that the world can see and know. So be on your guard of your life so that you can walk in unity with Christ and be on guard for your life and my life so that we can 
we can speak, we can make every effort to keep the unity in our family, in our home, in our church, in wherever we are, to be a blessing, be on guard. Because the devil is a wrong lion, roaring lion waiting for whom he may use so that he can devour and to follow him. Amen? So beware. Father, bless the people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you.